just wanted to make this quick video. Um, been kind of just knee deep, you know, doing the uh, different SEO related work and content related work for Stellar Kent. And as part of that, I've coming across different websites and looking at their competitors and other uh, similar websites that, you know, I think, you know, I've been able to get some ideas from. And I wanted to share with you. So this video is going to be a little bit uh, scattered. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to go over, but uh, first I wanted to you know talk about what I'm seeing on other websites. And some of these are competitors, others are just other technology related websites. But uh, I'll start here with the uh, resources links. And this site is actually one of the competitors that's competing with Stellar Kent for different keywords. And what I'm sharing this is they have a dedicated resources page related to a uh, patent uh, related topic. So you can see here it's very simple. Um, you know, they have a, a few links. And uh, I actually came on another website. They have a, their resource page is more extensive. So, you know, I think that would be a great ad for uh, Stellar Kent's website because it kind of goes above and beyond SEO. We're talking about user experience. If someone is looking for display awards, you know, they, this might be more relevant for a smaller company that doesn't have an established process. They might have questions about these different things. So I think if we could create a page on the website that has these different links to resources and other related material, I think that would be um, a great ad for the user experience. And also, um, it would be a great uh, link bait tool. So something that we can go out, look at different, you know, entrepreneurship blogs or, you know, technology blogs and say, hey, we have this great resources page for uh, patents. Um, check it out. And that's a, that's, you know, pretty much a straightforward way we can build links. So that's the first part. The second is uh, FAQ and it kind of relates back to the first point about user experience so patent awards this is another website they're competing with they have a FAQ list and it's pretty good um, you can you know it's pretty much goes into detail about their products and yeah and I think a lot of these things uh, what's what's cool about this is you know someone might be searching and Google directly for one of these questions. And, you know, of course, if they have that question on their website, then this comes up. So I think, again, this would be another great ad. I think this would probably be something better for the Stellar Kent team to do internally, or at least if we provide the list of questions, um, even a list of questions, I think it would be better internally because they would know what's most relevant. Um, but I think this would be another great addition to their to their uh, website and you know we can definitely this doesn't have to be a one-time thing you know as time goes on you can definitely add more questions and more topics to it so that it remains fresh so I wanted to share that so the FAQ uh, nothing here the third thing I wanted to uh, look at here uh, was a resource where, where I came across this website Dallas Innovates it looks like what they do is each week, I'm guessing this is every Friday or so, they send out a roundup of all of the patents granted for that week. So it looks like the last one was for August, the week of August the 28th. And they pretty much have a list of all patents that were uh, granted during the week. And, you know, Joel, Joel this goes back to uh, the question you were asking me, how can we better get in front of some of their target uh, or their, some of their dream clients or companies that they want to work with. And this would be a way. So let's say, for example, you know, we want to uh, pursue this idea. Uh, and over the course of six months, we feature Google's patents five or six times. You know, so I think that would be a great, you know, kind of conversation starter when reaching out to the to the person at Google, the appropriate contact at Google and say, hey, we featured uh, some of your, your latest innovations on our website. Uh, we also provide XYZ products uh, for different uh, pattern recognition uh, strategies. Why don't you uh, take a look? 
And I think that would be a great conversation starter. So just wanted to throw that out there. And also, of course, you know, when you add these roundups, it's more content on our website. So um, there's also that benefit. And lastly, I'm to go over the the content strategy. So I've had this up for a while now, uh, but just kind of wanted to kind of share this with you all and just kind of help you understand what's going on here. So our column main, these are the different article topics that uh, I have in the pipeline. And so take a look. So several of these are already in process and uh, will be completed starting this week. Others, um, they're kind of spread out over the course of September and the beginning of October. Uh, but you can really see kind of the keywords that we're targeting and, you know, these alternative keywords, other phrases that I think would be a good, good additions to the content and help uh, the Stellar Ken site rank well. Um, and so, yeah, of course, the word count. So the first article here is more like an ultimate guide. And really, my goal here is not to target a specific product because there's only so much you can say about, for example, patent displays in a blog article. But instead, you know, taking what uh, you sent over in the different marketing documents about a month ago and figuring out what would be some of their pain points. What, what are some of the questions that uh, the target or uh, the key stakeholders might have? And, uh, align topics that address those pain points and address those concerns. So the big thing here is the ultimate guide. I think this would be a great lead magnet, uh, something they can put on their website, but they can also uh, kind of use it as a downloadable PDF and link bait, um, as it's called. And we can reach out to different companies, different uh, websites to link back to that PDF. Uh, so not only are they getting those links, but you know we can set it up where uh, someone they have to, to subscribe to be able to access that PDF. So definitely would like to know some of your thoughts on that, but that's uh, that's where I'm at right now. And yeah, of course, you can see the different topics I have. So if something, if you feel that something doesn't quite align with what we're going for, please let me know. I'll share this, um, this, uh, this Google Sheet so everyone will have access. Uh, yeah, just wanted to share that and spare your inbox with all of these emails. Um, I'll be sending over the report uh, for the first month uh, shortly, uh, hopefully in the next few hours. And other than that, oh yeah, there was the, um, the AdWords research, uh, Eli, that you wanted me to take a look at. So I'm uh, still working on that. Um, there isn't, you know, I think that it's very specific. So there isn't a lot of data out there, but, but I will have something for you shortly. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching the video and look forward to hearing from you soon.